We continue to follow this tragic story as a community is in mourning. Classmates of the six-year-old boy who police say was killed because of his faith returned to class. A vigil will be held for the child later tonight in Plainfield. NBC 5's Lisa Chavaria joins us here in the studio. And Lisa, what's the school saying this morning? Well, the superintendent for District 202 put out a statement to parents. He said the school will keep a close eye on students today and offered grief counselors for the kids and staff. The six-year-old's funeral was held yesterday. People gathered at the mosque, uh, at the Mosque Foundation of Chicago Community Center. That's over in Bridgeview yesterday. Wadia Alfeumi was stabbed to death by his mother's landlord on Saturday morning in Plainfield. The boy's mother was also stabbed, but she survived. We're learning more about what Wadia enjoyed in his short life. This beautiful, young, six-year-old boy who had his whole life ahead of him, Wadia Al-Fayumi, who loved soccer, who loved basketball, who loved Lego, who loved to swing. While people mourned, the man charged in the attack appeared in court. 71-year-old Joseph Chuba is accused of stabbing the boy 26 times and the boy's mother a dozen times. Investigators say Chuba's wife told police her husband listens to conservative talk radio on a regular basis and has been heavily interested in the events happening in Israel. She also told investigators Chuba was concerned about what he called the National Day of Jihad and he wanted the mother and son to move out. And this just shows the dangers of, of spreading false and misinformation um, and, and how a landlord who had been previously kind to the tenants can all of a sudden switch just like that. The judge called Chuba a threat to the public and denied him pretrial release. He's due back in court at the end of the month. Tonight, a vigil will be held at the Prairie Recreation and Activity Center in Plainfield. Organizers say carpooling is recommended as parking is limited. That vigil is set to start at 8.15 tonight. Michelle. Lisa, thank you.